Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo, and I'm reviewing here Asna. This was a failed short today. I did do this. It didn't work out. There will be days where you win some, you lose some, and today was a loss for me, but I only did it once, and uh, that's why you have rules, and that's why you got to be disciplined. One loss isn't the end of the world, and uh, I did this, took the stop, and was done. In fact, I didn't even take the stop. I killed it. Uh, before it hit the stop, but I still took a loss. So let's just go over it. <coughs> Let me go back. So here it was. Ran up here, shorted it. Good entry. Stop originally was 50. Then I put it to 55. Then I gave it some more room. And then I waited, waited, waited. It looked great. It looked great. It wasn't going anywhere higher. It was holding, holding, holding. I knew traders were buying this today. They like to buy gap fills. I'll look at the daily chart and go over that in a minute. But I really didn't feel like institutions would buy this today. So I didn't want, though, this to go over the high of the day. So once it got up here, I killed it. And you see, it really didn't blow through the high of the day or anything. But it would have stopped people out then that had to stop at 50 or even 55. So I killed it when it hit over the high in here. But I tried to hang on to it. I tried and tried and tried. Had a bunch of traders that emailed me that actually held on to it and then ended up cost averaging down when it ran up here and added to the short and then actually made money in it. I did not do that. You know, I give something in the morning, you know, when it went over the high at 11 o'clock, it just killed it. But I will tell you that this chart still looks lower. It did rally today. It rallied in the resistance. It held for a long, long time. But I think one of the things that affected us today was market. We'll just quick look. Market is just so strong. There's almost nothing stopping it. 125 looks in sight. It could go there before it pulls back. Who knows? High today was 123 something. No, 123 almost. So the bullishness in the market, I think, affected this not following through today. However, that's not the reason it didn't work. It just didn't work. Sometimes there is no reason when something doesn't work. It just full on got sold off into the gap when it closed last night around 6, six something, 601, and it opened today then at 507. It sold off a buck, and then that was it. There was no more selling that came into in the live day. For gap to follow through in the day, you have to have selling into the gap when it gaps down. Then it has to rate good. Then it has to set up. Then it has to sell off on the live day if you short it. And this didn't have the follow through. But I do believe this is lower. You can watch this for a swing trade or a continuation or follow through even tomorrow. But I took a stop in this today, one loss and out. And, and like I said, I didn't even give it the stop. I killed it. But I would have held it through the stop or waited it, given it more time if it wouldn't have been late. But it was getting later and later and later. And I, I tried to be patient. It actually looked great. Looked great. Set up on the one, the two, the five. It never set up in the 15 minute. And then that was kind of a sign when it started to lift here. And then I really watched it. But I'll get it tomorrow. It is earning season starting next week. I'm very excited. There's a lot of things reporting Thursday and Friday, and we should have a lot of good gaps uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So have a great day, everyone. Email me at Melissa at thestockswish.com for more information. The Golden Gap class is this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. And I decided to do a live trading on Monday, which I don't normally do all the time. But so many people have been asking questions about live ratings. I think it'll be a benefit to everyone. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you would like more information and have a great day.